stores in Charlotte are about as down to earth as you're going to get. You know, I think what makes them stand out is that they don't stand out. They are people worth your knowing because they will bring joy and laughter to your life. They're the best of what it means to be a Hoosier lady and a Hoosier gentleman. Forrest and Charlotte Lucas have been described as a true American success story. Most Hoosiers probably know the Lucases from their name on Lucas Oil Stadium, but what many may not know is Forrest and Charlotte incorporated Lucas Oil in 1989 in Corridon, Indiana. Well, this is one of the great entrepreneurial business success stories of the last hundred years in our state. Uh, to be a truck driver, then to have a small trucking company, and then to develop a product that over a period of less than 30 years has become the, the leading lubricant operation in our country, now working all over the world. Sales grew quickly, as did the company's interests, a production company, a TV network, a 16,000 acre cattle ranch, a short line railroad, a racing complex, a dozen racing series, and many other racing affiliates, and much, much more. But despite all this, the Lucases can still be found on the shop floor in Corridon. He writes the labels on his, on his oil. That he answers their 1-800 number from time to time. When he comes down to the plant, he'll go out, shake everybody's hand, go line to line, look at the product. He views it as if every bottle sitting on the shelf at a retailer, so every bottle has to be perfect. If you've got someone you want to strive for in terms of success, Forrest Lucas is your man. Coming really out of nowhere, having a great idea, having the perseverance to take that idea and take it to market, and then the audacity to grow an enormous company, uh, known worldwide, and then to venture off beyond Lucas Oil Products into a variety of avenues that pique his interest. And not only that, to, uh, to have the wherewithal to stay engaged in the community, to be a player in the community, to make sure that he's supporting the activities uh, in the local area. They've changed this city in a profound way. You know, their generosity is comparable um, to all of the great families in our city. Indianapolis without the Lucases would not have such a vibrant downtown, but they're people who don't only operate just on a business level, they give themselves personally. The heart they have for others, uh, they have taken their success and they have shared it widely. They support, make it possible for more than a hundred charities each year to use their home for fundraising purposes. One of Forrest's passion projects is Protect the Harvest. He founded Protect the Harvest to defend and preserve American consumers, farmers, ranchers, outdoor enthusiasts, and animal owners. I think they're genuinely a partnership. We were all recently together at an event and uh, uh, they were dancing on the dance floor. And uh, you could see a spark and a chemistry in their eyes as they were dancing together. And uh, that's very encouraging that uh, with all their success and all that, they've, uh, that they mean to the community, that they are still very connected as a couple. I think when it comes to a, a rags to riches story, there's, there's not much better than, than the way that they did it. And the way they were able to keep grace and humbleness along the way, I think really, you know, it really wraps the whole thing in a beautiful package. Uh, when you're with them, they're um, very concerned about your well-being. Every time you're there, you feel like they've invited you personally to their home for a small gathering and it may be for 700 people. I'm very grateful for the opportunity I've had to, uh, to know Forrest and Charlotte. It's an honor, not because of uh, the great things that he's done and accomplished in his life, but it's wonderful to know people who are that genuine, who are uh, that giving. Forrest and Charlotte are very accessible, wonderful, basic, common sense people. That's how they built their business, and that's how they have related to so many of us uh, in Indianapolis.